morning. <clears throat> we're uh, we're trying to put the rear view mirror back in the Dodge today. So this is the shop truck. I found the rear view mirror and the little button that it adheres to or sits on down in the dirt and crap on the floor. There was so much crap on the passenger side floorboard I, I didn't know it was in there. So I was ready to buy a new one. Um, luckily we found it. I uh, dropped by the parts store this morning and got one of these fancy dancy Permatex uh, rear view mirror adhesives for use on metal buttons only so you know it's good. And we're going to apply that today. So you can't see it very well. Right next to my finger. You can kind of see there's a little bit of distortion, a little bit of lines. That's where we're going with this thing. Uh, I'm going to get a hip grip from half in, half out of the truck here. Here's the uh, instructions. Uh, don't use on the mounting button. Or, excuse, remove mounting button. Now ours was already off, so it's not a big deal. Outside windshield, circle with a crown. That's a pretty good idea, but I've got enough crap built up on mine. It doesn't matter. Gold adhesive removed. Okay, so I took a razor blade and scraped the vast majority of mine off, except for the crap that was kind of built up around it where it was dirty. I scuffed my button with sandpaper. Hello, neighbor dog. Not my dog. Um... <coughs> Excuse me a second. You know, I actually love dogs. So, we opened the primer, which is down here. Now, I got some of this on my hands, and I don't really recommend it. Um, it's kind of nasty stuff. They said let it sit at least a minute, so I'm assuming that whatever dries on there is pretty gross. And this towel is meant to stay. It starts out like that, and you peel it back. And see how they're holding it like that? I'm guessing this is pretty nasty stuff. So, we did that. Put this here. Whoop. Do not touch windshield or button. Open the adhesive. Apply one to two drops to the center of the button. Immediately put the button on the windshield. Right side up and hold firmly in place for one minute. Let us sit 30 minutes prior to mounting mirror. So I've got this. I'm fixing to apply a couple drops to center that. What I don't have is my tripod. So I'm going to try and prop this up where you can kind of see what I'm doing. And uh, we'll just hope for the best. If it looks like all hell's breaking loose, don't get too worried. Three drops in and well that's gonna be fun to hold there for a minute. Is that even six, seven? Okay, so it hasn't been a minute, but I can tell that stuff's already... <clears throat> Hadn't been a minute, but that stuff's really... There's just no good way to get you to focus there, is it? Okay, well, you can kind of see the crap on the bottom. We're going to try. Let's see if we can cipher some of that off. We cannot, really. more worried there was a bunch on it on the one side I was afraid it'd dry so hard that I uh, might never be able to get this bad boy on there so our next step will be figuring out what to do about that I don't know if there's a replacement piece of I don't know we'll figure it out 
Anyways, there she is, fully mounted. So it's basically clean everything, sand the button, get all the old adhesive off. Open this from the top. Try not to touch the nasty stuff. Clean the button with this. Clean the windshield with this where it's going. Put two drops of that really nasty crap that uh, I don't know where it went. That's reassuring. Um, on it, I put like four. And then uh, it was an accident. This stuff's kind of thick. And then shove it against the windshield until it stops wiggling. And then don't come back. Don't do anything with it for at least a half an hour. So, that's that. All right. Sometimes I know these things come with instructions. Sometimes it's just nice to see somebody do it. So that is uh, fixing the windshield button on our pick em up. Make sure everything's really clean before you start, guys. It's just that's how it is. Subscribe for more.